So, on my last video, a lot of you were like, thanks for making that video, it's like so relevant to me, because you know I'm in high school and I don't like to wear a lot of makeup, but if anything, I like to wear false lashes. So I'm really glad that I was on point with not wearing eyeshadow to school, because it's just too much, too much time, and really, like, when you go to school, you don't have to worry about looking good. Like, all you got to do is go to school, get your books out, steady, go home. Then when you go out with your friends or you go to school dances, which is what we're doing today, that's when you want to take out your makeup. So, anyways, today we're using the Sleek Palette because I did go on Twitter and a lot of you were like, well, I do like using eyeshadow and stuff. So I was like, all right, I'll do something for a back-to-school dance because I know a lot of schools have back-to-school dance either junior high this might be a little bit too much for a junior high girl but you can definitely tone it down with like the eyeshadow and stuff if you still want to wear makeup but definitely for high school girls um, this is something a lot more fun it's so out there and you're gonna get tons and tons of compliments from your friends, from guys, whoever the case might be, your teachers, I don't know. But anyways, we're using the original Sleek palette and this, oh, I just got an email. This palette you can purchase in England. Um, I know they also sell it in Ireland, but they look like this. And these are really cool because they're so pigmented. But of course, a lot of my viewers, like the majority of my viewers, are in the United States. So anytime I tell you to use a product, you don't have to use the exact same product. Like, there is so many eyeshadows that are exactly the same, just different brands. So just kind of improvise and just use what you have. If you have the 88 Shimmer Palette from Coastal Sense or the 88 Matte Palette, that works just the same. But this is really, really fun. Let me just give you a close-up. Um, of the makeup and we did some jewels which came out really really cute <gasps> my lash is falling out okay I gotta fix that but anyways this is pretty much what it is let me try to hide that inner corner <laughs> alright anyways if you're interested on the simple hair this is really really easy if you want to have really cute hair for the, either the first day of school or if you want to take it to a school dance and I even added this cute pink little dress and all you gotta do is throw on some gold pumps and like you are out the door the hottest girl in the back to school dance okay not just fine all right so anyways i will talk to you guys later and hopefully you enjoy this video and if you guys have any more requests for back to school looks that are not like first day of back to school i think i'm gonna do hair tutorials for like back to school hair because that would be really really fun and really easy for you guys but I'm blabbing on, so I will talk to you guys later. And all the products, if you are wondering what I'm using, they're going to be down in the description um, box. Like, everything you need to know is going to be down below and the brushes and everything. So anyways, talk to you guys later and have a wonderful, wonderful back to school dance. Because I know it's coming up for some of you. Because I know in LA, a lot of people are already going back to school. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye. I'm going to start off with Mary Kay's Signature Eye Primer. So now we're going to apply this all over the lid. And on the bottom lid as well, just look up and blend it out. Alright, so we're applying an eye primer so we don't have any creasing, especially since you're going to be doing a lot of dancing and you're going to be sweating. You don't want your eye makeup to crease. Taking the NYX eyeshadow base, and this is just a nude skin tone base. And the reason we're using this one is because we want the colors to actually appear brighter than they actually are and I don't want to use a white one because the white would make them stand out a little bit too much. Here I'm taking the Sigma SS 195 just synthetic, it's like a concealer brush and I'm just gonna go in here pick up a little bit because if you put on too much your eyeshadow is going to start looking like it's scaling. So we're gonna apply this to the entire lid area from lid to brow and then just blend it out with your finger and then apply some to the bottom so we're using the original sleek palette and it has all of these beautiful shades here so we're going to start off with the Sigma SS 252 with just a flat shader brush and we're taking these two really pretty pearly pinks and we're going to mix them together and we're going to apply this all over the eyelid. Make sure you tap off the excess and then just go in here and start by patting the color on really concentrated on the inner 
and middle of the eyelid. After that, we're taking that Sigma SS217 and we're going to take this kind of bronzy brown color here. And this is going to go on the brow bone. Right outside like this. And then just drag the color in. And we're going to use the highlight color to blend in the top of the brown because we don't want it to smoke out all the way to the brow, to the eyebrow. I'm taking a Sigma SS 275, which is just an angled brush like this one. And I'm actually using a different highlight because the ones on the palette are very, very shimmery and we don't want to have shimmer all over the eyelid. So we're going to go into this quad by Maybelline and this quad here is called the it colors. So we're going to take this one here which kind of looks like a white. We're going to grab some and then this is going to go right underneath the eyebrow all the way across. And you can start by blending this color too. We're going to deepen up the crease a little bit. So we're going to use the matte black that comes with the original Sleek palette. And it's just a matte black um, which is very, very similar to carbon. And we're taking a pencil brush, and this is the SS219. It's just a pencil brush like that. And seriously, all you want to do is go in here once, pick it up, and that's all. This is going to go on the crease. So you want to create like a V. And then just blend it out like that. So once this black and the bronze on the brow bone meat, it's actually going to turn like a pearl green like you see now. You can go in with a SS224 which is a really fluffy blending brush and then you can start by blending this out completely. So now we're taking the SS239 and we're going to pick up some of that pink. This is going to go in the inner half of the eye just like that. Taking a pencil brush and we're going to go in with the black very very little and then we're going to smoke out the bottom part just like that and now with the same flat brush we're going to go into the bronze that's all over the brow bone and we're going to blend this black out just like that underneath just to sideways So now we're going to do eyeliner now that we have the basic eyeshadows done. And here I'm taking this Linear Intense by L'Oreal, which is a felt tip liner. It's black. And we're going to do the top lid. Just like that. eyeliner for the waterline pencil and this is Icol by MAC and Smolder. <laughs> I'm going to do the waterline just like that. We are going to do just a few coats and this is the Volume Million Lashes by L'Oreal which looks like that and very dramatic mascara so I'm just going to do a few coats because we're going to do false lashes. Okay, so now we're going to take this waterproof lash grip adhesive for the eyelashes. And we are just going to place this like on a little clean tray. I mean, yeah, this is clean. So just put some glue here so we can get tacky. There's bubbles. It's empty. <laughs> While the glue gets tacky, we are going to fill in our eyebrows to make them a little bit more defined. And, of course, I'm using my Anastasia Brow Kit. And I'm just going to take the brush and the powder. And the powder is in a brunette, which looks like this. So if you have black hair, you might want to get the brunette duo. And then we're using the brush that comes with it. It's just an angled brush, number 7. And we're going to do start right here and do small 
short strokes upward so it kind of imitates hair. I'm gonna comb it. Alright, so today we are going to use Miss Adoro Lashes number 138. You can see they're fairly long and thick and really dark and black. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to make this look a little bit more fun. What I have here are little pink gems, and we're just going to place these on our face, right by the eyes. Grab your tweezers and the remaining of the lash glue, and we are going to just kind of dip our tweezers in here. Right where we want it. Just like that. For the cheeks, I have this Stila blush pot, and I couldn't tell you exactly like the name of this because it doesn't even have a label, and I like I really forgot. A really pretty cream blush, and this is gonna go on the apples of our cheeks. So we're gonna stain our cheeks, and then just blend it out with your finger. We obviously have a lot of eyeshadow on our eyes and we also have really big dramatic lashes and we have gems in our eyes. So we're going to do something very toned down. And this is actually really pretty pink and it's called Grapefruit. And it looks like that. comes in a little um, tube like that. And this is by Sally's Beauty Supply, I think. Um, so you can get it there. It is actually by Sally's. So we're going to do one coat of this lipstick and we are done now I'm gonna get my hair done and then I'll be right back all right so here is the finished product but let me show you um, the complete look here is the thing though like my lash is coming off so I have to glue it back on so don't mind the lash um, but Look at the jewels. I think the jewels really add like an extra touch to the look. It's really, really cute and I love it. This is definitely like one of my favorite looks ever. And I think for uh, my birthday, which my birthday is coming up, August 20, I think I'm going to do something like this. Exactly. And I think I'm actually going to use this pink dress. This dress is a year old and it's from Forever 21, of course. And then that's pretty much it. I will talk to you guys later. And thank you so much for watching. And hopefully you learned something or you get a chance to try this out for back to school. Bye-bye.